this is Chari. So presently I am working in Tallgrass. I have an 8 years of experience as a .NET trainer. Okay. So now first we will discuss what is the use of .NET or why we have to learn .NET only. Okay. So that means why .NET? So by using .NET we can develop any type of applications. Any type of applications. So in present market we have so many technologies. By using that technologies we can develop any type of applications. For example in the market we have .NET, so Java, PHP, all those things. By using all those things also we can develop any type of application. But what is the key factor for .NET is? So we can develop with faster application development. Faster application development. So in the if you are developing any applications, if you are developing the fast application means it is the advantage for the companies, clients and developer also. So that is .NET. Okay. So any type of application means how many types of applications presently we have in the present market. So we have console types of applications, console applications, second one desktop applications, third one web applications, and fourth one mobile applications all these four types of applications we can develop all these four types of applications by using .NET so with Java and PHP also we can develop but what is the key factor is faster we can develop faster applications okay by using only one IDE integrated development environment that is visual studio so by using single id we can develop all these applications there is no need to so use different different types of ids we can use only one type of id that is visual studio so that is now we'll see what is dot net so so many guys have some there is no what is dot net or what is it is application or a technology or we don't know oh. now we'll see what is dot net now dot net is a framework .NET is a framework. So developed by Microsoft in the year of 2002. So now if anyone is asking what is a framework? What is a framework? Framework is nothing but a collection of base class libraries. Collection of base class libraries. Base class libraries means or we can call this one as a namespaces also. Namespaces. Okay. So base class libraries means Microsoft people already developed some lines of code and giving that lines of code into us with the help of base class libraries. By using base class libraries we can develop our programs according to our requirement. Now what is base class libraries? So base class library is nothing but collection of predefined classes. Predefined classes. Predefined means already defined. These class are already defined by Microsoft people. Now, what is a class? So, class is nothing but a collection of members and methods. Collection of members and methods. We can call this one as a variables also. Variables. So class is nothing but collection of members and methods. Now what is a variable? So most of the time we are using these variables. Now what is a variable means? Variable is nothing but a small amount of memory area name. So, so like small amount of memory area name. Now what is the use of variables? So to at the time of writing the programs, if you want to store any values, we can store that values into the variables only. Now methods. Now what is a method? Method is nothing but a some lines of code. So why we are writing the methods means to perform some actions. If you want to perform any actions, we can write that code in methods. So now method is nothing but some lines of code. Now this is dotted. 
so now what are the technologies we have to learn in dotnet so for example if there is a java there is a core java and advanced java like this if you want to learn the dotnet what are the things we have to learn in dotnet so means in dotnet so if you want to get a job on dotnet at least we have to learn one language and one technology and one database so in dotnet we have 60 plus languages 60 plus different types of languages choose any one choose any one language now we are learn here c sharp dotnet we are calling this one as a sharp c sharp dotnet and we are coming to the technology is nothing but asp dotnet we have only one technology we don't have any alternatives in dotnet that is asp dotnet and we can choose database we can choose any database but we are learning here sql server so why we are learning sql server only means this sql server is also developed by microsoft now dotnet is also developed by microsoft these are the two products these two products there is a developed by sim same company this that means there is a compatibility between these two applications so that's why we are learning here sql server so as a fresher if you want to get a job at least we have to know all these things so that's after learning this course there is a so more opening song freshers on the dotnet also